Today we are putting uh, a curtain rod in this entrance. Very important because it's very cold in winter and a lot of cold air is entering in the whole house. So we'll proceed today with a curtain rod. So first of all we check the length. This is an old curtain we found in our reserves. And so we put it here and it will be hanging slightly on the, on the floor. So this is good for uh, thermic reasons. Okay, so today for this little works, um, we'll need the curtain rod. This is a simple tube around uh, one meter 80 length. Then we'll need uh, the fixing devices. This is for putting the rod on the wall. You see that there are four holes. We need to drill these four holes in the wall. The toolbox, among which we will uh, use the spirit level mainly. Then we need a little uh, machine for screwing. Then we need the big drilling machine because we'll be drilling into um, bricks, old bricks which are extremely hard. And this little uh, device here for finding the right uh, head for the screws. I also found this uh, very nice uh, offer of uh, butts and screws. This is a six millimeter diameter. That's all what we need today. Before starting to make the holes, we of course have to check if the screw fits the holes of uh, the device for putting on the wall. So you just take a screw and you put it here in the hole and this is okay. So now we have to find the right height for the rod. We already measured, we decided that we would go for the, having the curtain touching the, the, the ground. And so you take the first um, device for putting on the wall, you position it somewhere, for instance here. This you don't need anymore. And then you make a first mark on one of the holes. So you see here, this is the mark of the top hole of the device. So I'm putting the device now on the wall. I'm taking the spirit level for making sure that it's uh, straight. So you see that the little uh, air bubble has to be well centered in the spirit level. Then I don't move anymore. And I'm putting my second mark for the second hold. Now we take the drill of five. It goes inside very easily because this is not a good. Now that we've made the hole of five, we'll take the drill of six. This is the right size for the bed. So um, you have to be very careful and uh, hold the, the drilling machine perfectly horizontal and you also have to check the depth for which you will make the hole. So I'm just taking the bed for this. Take a little reference on the drill. So keep it modest and don't make too deep holes. Now that we've made the holes, we will put the butts into the wall. So you just put it like this with your finger and when you have a little bit of resistance, then you finish with a hammer. It has to be well aligned with the wall. I put now the second butt, same approach. So this, these two butts are well positioned and well fixed. Now we're taking the right size for the head of screwdriver. So we're checking the screw on the different heads here. And we will take the, the head of a screwdriver, which is holding the best, the screw while testing here. So they're all more or less good. 
but I can sense here this one is the best because there's a lot less uh, free space. So I'm taking this head. So now I'm putting the screw. So I'm not um, making it too straight on the first one because otherwise I may have difficulties for inserting the second screw. So now I'm taking the second screw. So I'm pushing well at the back so that we have a good hold of the screw. Now it's done. I will try to fix the upper one. So it's okay. I have the angle, so don't so now we'll finish finish with a manual screwdriver. So the second one had been already well screwed with a with a electric screwdriver, so this is okay. So now I'll be more making sure that the second one is well closed. So now I can finish with a manual screwdriver. And here it's perfectly fixed. Now we are trying to uh, position the second uh, device for holding the uh, the curtain rod. So here I'm very careful with the spirit level to make sure that it's uh, straight. So now it's okay. And now I will make the first marking point on the top hole of the holding device. So now I have my first mark and I will do like the first time I'm taking the spirit level for making sure that it's well that it's well straight. So I'm putting the second mark and now as we did the first time we will make holes of five and of course we are very careful that the drilling machine is well horizontal. Second hole. So now we are, we are okay. Now we need to check the, the depth of the butts. It's no, no need for making a too uh, deep hole. So now that it's well, that it's checked, we are taking the drill of six. I'm removing the five, I'm putting the six. And now we can make the, the last uh, manipulation for drilling. Always well a horizontal. So this was the brick. So now I'm taking the butts and like on the left side, put it slightly with a finger. And when I have resistance, I will finish with a hammer. So now let's go with a hammer. Again, be careful because you can, uh, you can also sometimes hit the wall. So be careful when you're using the hammer. It's very common to have some accidents, but as long as it's behind the holding device, that's not a big problem. So now I will put the second holding device. So I'm starting like last time with the screw which is on the upper hole. Careful for not putting it into the back, otherwise it's difficult to put the second screw. And now I'm putting the second screw. So I'm trying now to finish with a screwdriver. It doesn't work, so I need a manual screwdriver for fixing the upper screw. So this is because I wouldn't have the angle with the machine. So that's why I'm taking the manual one. For putting the curtains on the rod, I have to check carefully that the seam is towards the back, meaning towards the wall. Otherwise, I will see the seam so it's not the right way. Once I have identified clearly where the seams are, I'm putting the different rings all together. 
and I'm putting them onto the rod. So here it is. So I can already position the rod temporarily, essentially to see if we have also the good height. And then I can now start to prepare the second curtain. For the second curtain, I'm checking where the seams are. So again, I'm putting the rings side by side or back to back. And now I can roll in the curtain into the rod. So all is positioned. And this phase is now finished. So you could see that the right curtain is correct. The seams are in the back. Whereas for the left curtain, it's not correct because the seams are in the front. So I will now adjust this correct. So as the rod is not fixed, it's very easy. I'm re removing the left curtain. I am changing the disposition of the rings. So again, I'm making a little accordion. So you can see this is quite quick. And once they are all in the good uh, direction, I can then put them back on the rod. And now both curtains are in the right layout. So the last thing we have to do now is that we are, have to make sure that the rod is fixed to the holding devices, because otherwise there's a risk that they are moving. So you see the little screws here. So you first of all put the rod correctly and then you see the screw, you have to turn it for closing it and this little screw will then perfectly hold the rod. So again, I'm positioning it. Then I'm taking uh, a plier and now I can turn for closing. And you see it's holding now, that's it. So today we uh, fixed this uh, curtain rod. You have seen it was not so difficult. The most important things are the devices you put on the wall for holding the rod. They need to be well positioned, straight, and they need to be well fixed with uh, um, good uh, screws holding in the wall. And I'm looking forward to see you soon 